All right, but two, two questions for you, Owen, if I may, within that, before you go on to the next point. Uh, same question that I asked Paul. Uh, I know there's a tremendous amount of momentum both in China and India, and uh, we are very proud of making major investments in both countries. Uh, if uh, you had to bet on which one would grow the fastest this next year, remembering that you know, your teams are listening as well, uh, do you think China will grow faster than India, or India will grow faster than China? Now, if I have to look at the, and placing my bet, I would say India, mainly because one reason, we have our globalization center now already located in Bangalore, and they already work closely with my team and had tremendous value in driving our service provider business and introduce a, a different or new business model to our support our service provider business. And also they're working closely with all our partners there to create value for the enterprise segment and also see tremendous growth in the commercial segment of the market and all the video play, many services play out. I think from that perspective, we get tremendous support from Rims organization in Bangalore with all the resources that we incubate to help to accelerate our growth in that country. So if you ask me today, the question is India. But the question I'm going to ask you, John, is when are we going to build our, our infrastructure in China, which is also equally important? <laughs> uh, we'll be there next month with you. We'll discuss this when we get there. Uh Second, second part of the question is, uh, your emerging markets are doing very well, but this last year we obviously had some challenges in Thailand and Taiwan, which kind of brought down the numbers. Are you comfortable that with the appropriate caveats that we can not foresee political events or economic changes, but does it look like the balance is going to be pretty good across your emerging markets this next year in the 30 to 50 percent growth, much like what we've been experiencing in other parts of the world, assuming we don't have another Thailand or uh, type of issue in front of us? Uh, talking about Thailand and Taiwan, the political uncertainty will continue to impact us until after the elections in Thailand or in Taiwan. In that case, I think we already factored that into uh, our forecast. But the growth rates that we perceive coming from Vietnam, Indonesia, and Malaysia will more than offset offsetting the, the, the slow growth in those two markets. So from a balanced portfolio standpoint, I think we still see healthy growth in the conversion market going into the new fiscal year away.